Hey guys, welcome to Double D's RCs. Today I'm going to look at a Valenian motor that I bought used, and I'm going to see. Um, it's made by Traxxas. It's brushless, uh, and we're going to see what it looks like on the inside. This seems to be a little bit rough, so I'm going to check and see what that's all about, and see what we can do to help it out. All right, so this motor um, came with my Traxxas. Um, Fiesta ST Rally and it works fine but it just seems to be pretty notchy so I just want to see what the insides of it look like um, the part number on this one is a um, 3351R I don't know the age of it I just saw some wires rubbing through here too like I said I haven't looked at this um, too thoroughly yet so we're gonna take a peek and see see what the inside looks like so first thing that I'm gonna do is take this cover off at the end it's like a cap um, I did use a flathead screwdriver and kind of worked it around a little bit because this one was pretty crusty so it looks like the dude who had it before me uh, must have ran it in looks like sand of some sort. So what next is going to be three screws here. I've had these motors apart before but I've never had this particular motor apart. So essentially there is going to be a bearing here on the end and a bearing down in there and then like a copper sleeve on the inside here so I'm going to take out these three screws and see what it looks like alright so there's actually four screws on there I was mistaken but you'll see now we're just going to try and get this end cap off just kind of work it back and forth a little bit and now that cap comes off and holy shit look at that there's tons of sand in this thing so next I'm gonna take um, see there is a you're gonna look here there's a bearing okay this is the cap that just came off alright so there's a bearing here right down there and then this is that sleeve I was telling you about Okay, it's a copper sleeve that comes off save that if you don't have a rebuild kit and then there's a little washer here that you don't want to lose either I guess not all the motors have this washer but this one does so I'm going to save it And I don't see any other washers on there, so I think we're at a good point to um, take out this center piece. I think it's called a rotor, but I'm not sure. Alright, so this motor, the way it's designed, this could be all motors that are electric, I'm not sure. But this motor here has strong magnets inside of it, okay? So the center shaft is going to be attached to that rotor thing when you're trying to take it out okay you're gonna have lots of magnets in there resisting so you can grab a pair of like pliers uh, just be careful not to damage the shaft and try and pull it out that way I've had some success with that without doing any damage so what I like to do is when I'm taking it out I just use pliers but I wrap a rag around it okay so when you're pinching it, you don't pinch it with the actual pliers, you're using a, a buffer here, okay? So if you slip or anything, it won't do any damage um, to anything in your engine. Now at this point, I'm just going to essentially clean this, and then um, we'll show you what's next. Alright, so on this top plate, you're just going to want to remove this bearing here. 
and it's probably going to be trashed if you've never serviced it before. Um, I'm going to go ahead and just replace it because I have extras. Um, I do use the high speed bear bearings on this um, just because it's going to be spinning pretty damn fast. I also use the steel encased ones because it most likely will be experiencing some heat also. Alright, I went ahead and cleaned this uh, end plate up off camera. That was rather boring. Uh, no, I probably didn't have to replace this bearing, but if I'm already in here, why not? Um, the other one I did clean it off and it seems to be pretty smooth still and everything, but these bearings are cheap and I don't see the point in not replacing it if I'm already in here. I'll save the other bearing and just put it in my used bearing section and uh, see if I have a use for it later on. Alright, next we're going to take this bearing out here. I cleaned this up um, okay so far. I'm going to go back in there and clean it a little bit more. Uh, but you take your motor after you get the center piece out and now you got your just flip it over okay and now you're going to try and get this center bearing out and then you'll have to replace that one also all right after you get the other bearing put in here um, you just drop the bearing in and then i use uh, this nut driver that i have or screwdriver that i have it's aluminum um, so it won't have any ma uh, magnetic reaction to anything and I just use that to drive it in. I don't know if that's a good idea or not, but uh, <laughs> uh, it works. You can use a hunk of wood or uh, you know a dowel, I guess, but uh, whatever works to get it to seat properly. And then you just um, put your rotor back in. Remember, it's got a magnet on it, so it's going to suck it out of your hand probably, like that. And then now you're going to reinstall your little plastic bushing that you have and then your sleeve and then now you should be able to put your top plate back on and then your four screws all the way around All right, so um, I was kind of laughing when I was installing the bearing into the um, motor housing uh, because when I was using that uh, nut driver to put it back in, uh, I kind of was feeling a little bit of tingling in my hand, and I didn't know if uh, A, it's just because it's freezing cold in my garage, uh, B, I'm fat and old and I was having a stroke. Or C, there's maybe some sort of electrical current in these motors that maybe you shouldn't shove metal things into. So yeah, uh, I'm not a <laughs> an electrician and I haven't rebuilt a million motors or anything and I can't even tell you how they work to tell you the quite honest God truth. Um, so yeah, this is not uh, advice that I'm giving you, okay? This is just... Um, how I do things. And maybe they are not the right way. <laughs> maybe they work. Uh, and yes, it was not a stroke because I'm still here. So, all right. All right. When you're all done with the uh, putting the four screws in, you just got to put your cap back on. And this here motor is essentially <laughs> good again <laughs> we'll put it back in the truck and see how it goes man uh, hopefully it works good we'll see thanks for checking out my videos um, if you like what you see like and subscribe and spread the word and get out there and have some fun and enjoy the hobby